Juan Toscano Anderson has the same bulldog mentality as Draymond Green and has emulated his game after him. How many times have we seen Draymond make this play in a 4 on 3 situation? But here's the key to it. See how JTA catches it with both feet in the air. What this does is allow him to land on the jump stop. It gives him control of his momentum so he can read and react to the defense and make the right play. Here, same thing, lands on the jump stop and now he has control of where he's going. They teach the low man to meet him outside the restricted area and try to take a charge if he's out of control. But because of a slight adjustment, he can contort his body and avoid the charge. Here, he's just taking advantage of the attention Steph gets. He's reading Johnson here. This negative step shifts his weight towards Steph and it tells JTA that he's coming up to show on the screen. Doesn't even set the screen and slips early. The nets don't rotate and it's a layup. Like Draymond, JTA makes perfect reads in handoff action. Here in pistol action, two reads tell him to fake the handoff and drive. Halliburton not in the gap because he's worried about the handoff and Buddy's disengagement from his body. Since they're both playing the handoff, nothing is stopping him from faking it and driving. Same action but there's one important detail. See how Draymond screens JTA's man first? This puts Brown in panic mode. He knows handoff is coming. And if he doesn't recover in time, Steph's getting an open 3. JTA knows this and fakes the handoff while the defender is still scrambling to recover. Here in the Warriors split action, it's the same concept of taking advantage of Steph's gravity. A Wiggins illegally screens Steph's man, forcing DeRozan to switch. And see again, the negative step. Now he's trailing Steph and in panic mode. Pirtle does the right thing to switch, but doesn't communicate it to him. And JTA slips to the rim. Here, setting a pin down for Steph, Kyrie points out the switch. But instead of clearing out, seals Kyrie because he's giving up inside position and uses great feet work. He has also shown the same defensive awareness of Draymond. Jumps on Morant's fake, but has the quick awareness that Dre has committed to Morant, so he needs to switch on the JV. Contorts his body in mid-air and gets his hand into the passing lane. There are plenty of areas of improvement for JTA. Like this pass has to be made sooner. Now, defender is beat, but it's important that it goes with velocity and with the left, because pull catches it in open space and can either pull up or attack Jackson. By taking another dribble and then two hand passing it, now pull catches it in Jackson's reach and the defense can collapse. He must continue to learn from Draymond. Here's an example. Right there, advantage is created. And look, pass is already out with one hand. Again, all small details, but passing windows open and close really quickly in this league. An area where JTA can excel over Draymond is 3-point shooting. He shot 40% from 3 this year on 1.7 attempts a game, while Draymond shot 27% on 2 attempts. But people forget that Dre shot 38% during the 2015-2016 season before his drop-off. So only time will tell if JTA can maintain that percentage. Although overshadowed by Draymond, JTA will play an important role in the Warriors' success next season. 